BMW has said that its new electric cars will have 30% more range and the battery packs will cost 50% less. So they're saying there's going to be some pretty evolutionary, pretty impressive new technology when it comes to their battery packs. Now, to be fair, those packs are simply 4680 battery cells, basically the same things that Tesla produce today. However, BMW's engineers have made some comments which are so strange. I thought they were worth a video. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks to our Patreon supporters. And thanks to our YouTube members. Appreciate every single one of all of you and all of you as well, simply for subscribing to the channel sharing the channel with your friends as well. I've seen many of you do that. Really appreciate that. The next generation of BMW's electric vehicles promise 620 miles of range, 30% quicker charging, and much, much cheaper production processes that will cut significantly down BMW's carbon emissions. Basically by using, you know, the current NMC nickel manganese cobalt technology that is pretty common in the industry, lithium, ternary batteries they're generally referred to as and using cylindrical cells with structural battery packs basically copying tesla bmw have more or less admitted that that's what they're doing i believe that's the best strategy that's the only way they say you can reduce their cost significantly and reduce the weight of the vehicle but obviously weight is really important you reduce the weight you can increase the range by doing nothing at all so clearly this is what they perceive to be the solution but the contradiction here is that one of BMW's top battery experts, one of their engineers, believes that, uh, um, well, not much is going to change. He said that without something game changing that he doesn't know about, we're close to the limits of what lithium batteries can currently do. Now, I personally strongly disagree. I recommend to that engineer he watch this channel. There is so many companies working on incredibly evolutionary Incredibly impressive technology. Look what StoreDot just said within the last 24 hours. The batteries have been verified with 300 watts per kilo. There is semi-solid state batteries being produced now at significantly reduced cost with enormous incredible energy efficiency. This Tesla bringing out one megawatt, 1000 volt architectures. There is seriously impressive stuff happening now because he's not involved in that. Maybe he believes that it doesn't exist. I don't know. Or maybe BMW believes that. Now, keep in mind as well as that, that we now know BYD and CATL are producing, mass producing sodium ion batteries, not only for use in energy storage, but also for use in electric cars. That is clearly a dramatic, a dramatic thing, a dramatic change, because that'll mean no lithium is needed in those battery packs. However, BMW believed that lithium ion batteries will remain the industry standard on a wide scale for many, many years to come. From an energy density point of view, I would say that we're facing the optimum lithium ion cell chemistry in an industrialized application for large markets, said Simon Earnhardt, the head of energy performance and lifetime for BMW's forthcoming generation six batteries. I think it's peaked, he said. Hmm. Earnhardt believes the next big thing in battery development is likely solid state batteries. He said BMW's recently opened cell manufacturing competence center in Munich is researching and developing this technology as it works with top academic talent in Europe to build an almost mini Silicon Valley like network around battery development. Inside EVs says that BMW along with Ford is one of two primary investors in Colorado based solid power, which aims to be the first company to commercialize this technology meaning the first solid state batteries in a production automotive application could be in Fords or BMWs. Many other automakers are working on this technology as well, including General Motors, Honda, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and Toyota. In fact, Toyota said back in 2015 that its EVs of today, as in today, in fact, it said its EVs of 2021 would have solid state batteries in those vehicles. The media, for some strange reason, ignored that they ever said that. That's what they said. And well, we all know that didn't happen. In the coming years, BMW will undertake its biggest electric push yet. 
with a range of new models on a dedicated EV platform powered by its sixth generation batteries that use cylindrical Tesla-like 4680 cells and are produced in an assortment of factories worldwide. But these cells will be using current today NMC technology. So what I'm confused about is that this engineer is saying we've reached the peak when it comes to this type of battery, but at the same time, BMW is releasing press releases saying that BMW will significantly increase the range of their vehicles by 30%, reduce the cost by 50%. There's all these improvements they're claiming that their new batteries will have, but at the same time, they're saying they've already reached the peak. I'm confused because the thing is, this is vehicle technology. They say it's not going to be in their cars for another few years. So that's their future technology. Are they saying that that technology is the peak? Or are they saying that we're at the peak today? I'm not sure. But it's worth pointing out that solid state batteries are a very long promised but long delayed technology. And that it could bring big advancements to the industry. But so can incremental improvements. I think BMW forgetting the fact that we have seen incremental improvements that have massively changed battery packs today over the last 10 years. Think about how expensive it was to buy an electric vehicle with a say 100 kilowatt hour battery pack back in 2010. It was astronomically expensive. Think about the energy density we're at back in 2010 when it comes to lithium iron phosphate battery packs. Think about the cost of a battery pack. Think about the cost of an EV. You can buy affordable EVs in China for $10,000 which are actually pretty good. Could you do that back in 2010? No, you couldn't. Actually, the truth is the industry has come a long way, but BMW and its engineers, I believe, are simply forgetting that. They're simply forgetting. The industry is not one person or one company's technology. It is the combination of thousands of entrepreneurs, thousands of engineers all working, creating the butterfly effect, creating better products, and competition spurs, it spurs innovation. Remember, there are many battery companies around the world all working to improve their battery technology, and they're doing it. Sure, the changes may not be dramatic, they may not be solid state battery changes, but the changes are having a profound impact on the products we have today. Increasing energy density every year almost, changing the way that vehicles are built with structural battery packs, removing the modules, decreasing the weight, increasing the range, increasing the number of cycles we get per battery pack. I mean, look at Tesla Model 3s being able to do more than 500,000 miles with almost no battery degradation and no servicing. That in 2010 would have been a miracle. Today, no one says anything. No one even blinks. I strongly disagree with BMW and its engineers on this one. I think the big changes we'll see are not solid state batteries. Yes, we will see them in cars eventually. Yes, they will be important, but they will still represent a niche market. Probably the only 5%, maybe 10% maximum of the industry. The majority of EVs in the world will be powered by lithium ion phosphate to the greater degree, to the lesser degree, lithium ternary battery packs. And it's incremental changes, which will continue to make those battery packs last longer have higher energy density and cost less. We don't need to see massive evolutionary changes for us as an average consumer to have a drastically better product. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Bye-bye.